this trade and ready. Attention! Go! Got well, the tension there as they were waiting to go off, you know, it was long nerve balls, twitchy, yeah, wasn't it? Well, Cruz got off pretty cleanly there. Let's see a bow ball at the moment to Scott Scott. Really punchy here for this Australian crew on the right of your screen. Yeah, great to have Aussies racing their Brits again here. And, um, you know, welcome to all those uh, Australian uh, viewers who have tuned in late tonight to uh, watch this race. It's a great start from Scots College so far, although we've seen a little tweak on the steering there, can't we, from the Scots College, but it looks like they're finding the station, but that's expected with a bit of the wind like this, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely, a bit of wind at the end of the island, and actually, if you're looking at this, the bank goes inward, so it really wants to draw you in and pushes you out, so it's quite a deceptive course at that first kind of few hundred metres, but Scots College here from Sydney have taken two seats on the King School Chester. Strong start by both boats, so Adam. Yeah, very much so. This is going to be an exciting race. It's, it's, it's uh, always challenging when you're racing uh, other nations and you're a, you know, a junior crew or a club crew, and so it's difficult to know where your form is against each other. But yeah, credit to King's School Chester. They're definitely hanging in here, but that's quite a strong start from uh, Scots College. So a good shot there. Looking down the boat of Anthony Orders and Nathan Wilmot stroking seven of the King's School Chester crew. And nice blade work there. I was going to say about the blades, they're actually work using Croker's because, uh, well, I don't know if the link still is there, but Howard Croker, who is the manufacturer of Croker Roars, uh, actually coached at Scots College for a while. So, yeah, they're obviously using the blades still, which is good. Australian Oars, the pink of the Croker Oars, quite distinctive there as the Scots College eke out another couple of seats as they're heading towards the barrier. Yeah, they're doing well here, because this is the period when you really want to bed into the race, isn't it, and find the form. But I think the wind was just unsettling them a little bit there. And this is now we're on the Chester crew hard. So if Chester can keep themselves focused in on their race and make the most of their ability to row into the wind, they'll be able to keep themselves in contact here. It's looking down the boat there. Luke Dillon in the sixth seat, Archie Barker at five, James Jacob in the fourth seat, Hugh Hudson, George Mundy and Giorgio Paletti in the bow seat by Andy Pallet. Looking loose in the shoulders though, looking like they're staying in touch with Scots College here, not letting them have an easy day of it. No, definitely not. And, it's, and looking at this picture here, I know we're on the, um, the Buckinghamshire, Buckinghamshire side of the course, so it's always difficult to tell exactly if they're level, but it does look like they're pretty close to each other here. And we'll have to wait to a progress board to see who's taken the lead here, actually. But this is a cracking race. And we have seen that. So if you're, if you're watching this with us now, the headwind makes the race a lot slower. So, you know, you're not always going to favour those super fast starting crews or super quick finishing crews. It gives a chance to these the machines, the engines, the people that are here for the long endurance to just chip away at it and stay in the race. A big shout there from, from the bow man of Scots College. Jack Pin there, 16 years old. He's asking for a little bit more from his crew. He wants to break away. Yeah, so well, they were 34, 35 there, weren't they? 16.6 kilometres an hour. So just looking to try and inject a bit of pace here to hold off this threat here. Great challenging from King School Chester on the nearer side of the screen here. Oh, wow, this is great. What a great race. King School Chester have come right back into this. And that is not a nice feeling if you're Scots College. You're sitting, you know, two thirds of a length of. How does that feel, Adam? A cruise coming right back at you. Oh, horrible. Absolutely horrible. But I mean, this is why we love it. This is the, all the adrenaline, all the excitement. You know, who's going to respond to this? A Chester looking great. Perfect time to have this shot. This is great. Look at that bow ball lining up on the two man of the Scots College crew. Are they nibbling through? Is it going to get to that bow man? Is it going to get level? I mean, the jeopardy here is killing me, Jess. This is quite an exciting race. This is make or break. Their lungs are burning. Their legs are screaming. Who's going to hold their hand in the fire? It's going to come down to a bit of grit now. Who's rowing well through this part of the race? It looks like Scots College are really holding them well, actually, just pushing out maybe a couple more feet there to push that bow ball back to the three-man on their boat. So, yeah, the line there I was drawing was on the left-hand side boat across horizontally there to that Scots College crew. And that bright yellow outfit and those very cool bucket hats, you know, very 90s look, but, uh, but I like it. You know, you often get a good, strong look from, a, from an Australian crew, whether it's style. mullets or moustaches, whatever they're doing, it's a, uh, you know, strong fashion look to it. But they're looking good, and it's still a, such a close race. They're coming past Remenham here. They're almost approaching that last five, 600 metres. 
quite close steering there for the King's Chester, right in the middle of the course. Are they trying to put some pressure on this Australian crew all the way from Sydney? They, they've come here to make it to the weekend. But they're looking good. I mean, they're, look, they're looking good on and off the water here. I think we've seen them in their kilts in the boat tent areas as well. But this is great. Oh, look at the data here. This is brilliant. Very closely matched on the speeds. And actually, that's great to see. There was a little bit more speed there from the King's School Chester, so they were pushing. But it's it's matched very well. Very, generally very matched there. You're just getting a bit more variability with the data, with the, with the wind blowing on them there. But that was uh, oh, that's so exciting to see. Let's see it now. Have they got a response? They've pushed back. Scots have absorbed that push. What have they got? Can the King's Hill Chester drop the hammer and put some more pressure? They're still neck and neck. Oh, wow, this is amazing. They've, they both crews want this so bad. This is fantastic to see. It's going to be really hard to, to separate them. Look at this race, Wednesday, and there are inches between these two crews from the other sides of the world. They've come to Henley, they're here on Wednesday. What have you got? I hope they're okay. The heads look like they're going down a little bit in that Scots crew. This is obviously hurting really badly, but can they hang in there? They've been leading the entire way at Scots College. What have they got? These crews now, we can see them approaching us in our commentary box. They're into the dying depths of this race. They've got a few more hundred meters to make it through to Thursday. I'm exhausted already, and the crowd are really roaring for them. And you can just see here on the Chester, the, the blade work is just that bit tidier into the headwind, and they're just able to find the water a bit earlier. Looks like they've just been able to break through there, doesn't it? I think Chester have broken them. I think they've gone through. I think they've got a seat. Scott's the rowers here on the left of your screen. Their heads are dropping a little bit. They're looking a little bit running through treacle. And the power and momentum is with this King School Chester crew. What a race. I mean, Scots College have been fantastic here. Come on, boys, hang in there. This has been great from you so far. A little bit of steering. We're coming up to this last 100 metres. We couldn't have asked for more from both of these crews. Absolutely on the edge of what we want to see here. And that is a fantastic win for the King's School Chester at the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup over the Scots College Australia. Great race.